Well, it's hard to drive around Albuquerque without seeing an abandoned shopping cart or someone pushing a stolen shopping cart. For the past two months, the city's solid waste department has been collecting them, and there are a lot of them. News 13's Madison Conner is live near Yale and Cole with more on that story. Madison. Dean, we got a peek at what looks like a shopping cart graveyard, nearly 2,000 carts, and from the looks of it, no store is safe. Welcome to our sea of carts. Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Target and Lowe's are just some of the big box stores falling victim to ghost carts. These were literally just stray carts that are left throughout the city. 1,885 carts have been picked up by the Solid Waste Department over the past couple months. You can see them at um, apartment complexes, you can see them at bus stops, or you might just see one in the middle of a sidewalk and you're like, there's not a Walmart anywhere around here. With every cart that is collected, they are hoping to find a solution. So we started this pilot program to collect all the data as to where they're coming from, who they're coming from, and how can we get them back to the retailers. And the city says none of these carts are coming from homeless encampments. That's an issue all on its own. Well, this problem is bigger than what we think it is or the people responsibility, the residents responsible for moving these carts aren't just the unsheltered. They're your normal, average, everyday resident of the city of Albuquerque who's just trying to get their groceries, get on the bus, and get back. The city believes the businesses need to do more to keep carts from leaving their property. We're kind of saying, look, we've got your carts. We don't want to see these all over our city. Wanting to work together to bring back old techniques to solve an old problem. So whether they're picking them up, or whether they have the brake mechanisms that I know some of the places do or the various other tools that we've used for a long time. Now the city is working with local governments from California, learning the methods they use to hopefully find some more solutions here. Dean, back to you. All right, Madison, thank you. The city is working with local governments from California, learning the methods that they use to find more solutions.